Here are some uh, clips from a recent uh, visit to LA Arboretum. Uh, we have a very close encounter with uh, peacocks. Let's take a look. Uh, the male peacock will attract the female with the beautiful long tail feather rising into the air and the arch in, in a big fan uh, more than 180 degrees wide and uh, uh, shaking in the, in the air make a, a beautiful courtship display everybody knows that uh, in the zoo probably and uh, um, the female does not have the uh, tail feather I just uh, did this uh, um, peacock uh, display of uh, uh, courtship display and uh, with uh, this uh, uh, water crane, water with soluble crane. Now I'm doing this blending a little bit. Uh, you don't have to do all, just you know, some area. It's nice to mix the colors and then just create some uh, watercolor effect. So it's a watercolor and a crane. Hi everyone, I'm Henry Lee, BrewHenryArts.com. Now I'm at a park, LA Arboretum in Arcadia. Um, it's also known as the Peacock Park. There are many um, peacocks here. They're not captive, they just uh, live here. So you can see them from the parking lot, from uh, everywhere, on, even on the street nearby. The peacock has different uh, uh, feather with a diff um, female and a male. These are, this one is male. Very beautiful feather. Uh, the peacock replaces their feather every, every year. So uh, you can actually pick those uh, feathers in the park where the peacock lives. In, in You can, you, uh, you, I sometimes just draw the, the detail on the head and sometimes we can do the, uh, the whole pose. The crown is very colorful also. And, uh, they're expecting the visitors to feed them. Here he comes. Beautiful feather. Now I'm going to do some color. I'm using this uh, new um, Sumi watercolor crying set. Sumi, or you know, for uh, etagami. You can use uh, our water brush to. Blend it on paper so it will become watercolor effect if needed. See that? It's good to record color. color. Can you hear the, the calling? That's the peacock in the background. Wow, this is beautiful. I have never seen a peacock this close. <laughs> Thank you for coming. What a car crying. So I just use water to create the ink effect. This paper is a watercolor paper, by the way. Watercolor paper I'm using. It's a perfect uh, mat with uh, the uh, 
water, uh, water brush. You can also mix color to get the, um, the brown. I use the yellow and some, some red. And then I just blend it with uh, my water brush. Oops, this is the brush. Where's the bird? <laughs> Everywhere. Yeah, they just around. What are you looking for? Where? What are you looking for? And for birds, the color. For the bird. So we have to change no, he, the place. He's, yeah, he's, wa he's walking on that walking pain. Walking. Oh, pace. I see. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so the. have to be fast. Oh, they're calling, <laughs> calling each other. <laughs> we have this uh, watercolor crying, so you can blend with uh, water. Get the color for feather. I like to do some pattern here. Oh, they're coming this way. blend the colors to get the brown. I use uh, three different colors. You don't want to make it muddy. 
So we just land a little bit. Another thing you can do is to wet the the, the client and then paint with the wetted uh, uh, wetted client, so it will create some interesting effect. Also, you can you can wet the paper uh, with water and then paint on wet paper with client. So there are many things you can do with this uh, tool.